Ahoy hoy, and well, this is a little off schedule, but uh, considering how I'm feeling today, I thought I would do something that was a little easier to edit and record. So, this is a game called SCP Blackout, and it is a, well, let's see here, escape with your life. Listen to Miss Dr. Miller or Dr. Slate to escape. Make decisions, in fact, the story, discover what's truly going on beyond the breach. Yeah. So this is a game that I actually had a at least. And welcome to the main menu. Okay. Promise, you're perfectly safe in here. Am I? Or are you? No. Dun, dun, dun. No, no. Only go in. You're safe. It's for now. Okay. This game actually had a hand in helping bring about. Not very much, to be honest with you, but um. I helped clean up their SCP entries, or at least the ones that uh, were in the game at launch. Um, hmm. Well, that implies that something in here will move so that you can pull this out. Anyway, how do you pick things up? I don't know. Oh, E. Okay, that makes sense. Um, yeah, so, and I also have a small role in, uh, the game itself, where I actually voice a character, which is, actually, I've just voiced Dr. Sumerian himself. Mm, no. Can't hear over the, uh... Uh, music. Let's see here. Ambient, ambient music. Change, yes. 20%? There we go. Alright, no. Um, save? Back? Okay. Resume? I don't know. Is it? I'm kind of curious to see if anything needs here move the thing. Come to think, I mean, I've never really played this game. <clears throat> um, well, I played it for a little bit when it was, or tried to play it a little bit when it released, but I actually wasn't able to because my uh, computer really just wasn't good enough. Now it's not only good enough, I could play it on v in VR if I wanted to. Anyway. I suppose there's very little we could do. We could sit down and have a seat and go through the... You know what? Let's, let's do that. Oh, no. Hello, whoever you are and wherever you came from. And welcome to your future. Now, you're probably wondering where exactly you are and who exactly we are. Unfortunately, that's not something we can tell you at this point. Well, what good are you? Educational video is to inform you and your fellow inductees what you should expect from your new life here at the Foundation. First of all, you will be given a unique personal identification number tattooed directly on your chest. <gasps> Yay! Lose it, won't you? <laughs> this will become your new name. You and any one of your colleagues will be referred to henceforward as Class D. D stands for delightful. <laughs> now that you're equipped with your new identity, what's next? Well, this is where the fun begins. Mm. Let's talk fashion. Say goodbye to your boring old clothes. Here, you'll be fitted with our super comfortable standard issue electric orange overalls. <laughs> electric orange? Cozy while performing your assigned responsibilities. All the while, keeping you looking fresh and professional. Speaking of responsibilities, let's talk about yours. Your purpose here is to accommodate your supervisor's demands. Those are the friendly guys with the guns. Such mm. as cleaning up nasty messes, interacting with interesting characters, and pull off script. <laughs> Making sure you're in tip-top shape, the infirmary is always open, and fulfilling interdepartmental deliveries, and much, much more. You couldn't ask for a more exciting worthy endeavor. Just remember these four simple points, and your time here will be a walk in the park. Okay, cool. One, a locked door, a 
things I haven't bought. Number two, questions are bad. Mm. Number three, why are they bad? Supervisor satisfaction is key. And finally, number four, no pain, no gain. But it doesn't end here. No, it doesn't it? Successfully complete one month of rigorous class D work. That sounds like bullshit to me. <laughs> no. Okay, well, good luck, man. You know what? I believe in you. Okay, so that's not the way. That's just to the credits. So what is, is it this way? Only 10 trophies are available at this time. Actually, I've never been a huge fan of, uh... I guess I must have gone in the wrong direction. No, this looks right. Let's move it up to easy. No secrets or S11. Uh, <coughs> escape the facility as quickly as you can by any means. Search quickly in this fast-paced survival. For any supplies available, all SCPs are being released. So learn where and where not to go. This is involves. I remember this funny part is that I helped rewrite some, most of the original SCP files. I still don't remember most of them. They can disrupt the collective. Right click. An unknown biological substance has breached multiple containments. SCP Teller containment has failed. Sure. Did I ever tell you about the facility I was in before they threw me in this place? Uh, no, but I bet you can't tell me anyway. Well, yeah, if you hadn't heard the story, I'm gonna tell it. Uh, okay, fine. <laughs> there was this creature, right? And it, and it escaped. Oh. It started breaking everyone's neck. So it's containment breach. Half of the foundation, blah blah blah. You may not remember the training video in the reception room, but the memories will come back to you and explain everything you need to know. Once you're acclimated yourself, we'll come to retrieve you. Uh oh. Oh no. That sounds serious. Turn the lights back on. Now, grab the prisoner from the cell. I will deal with this one. I don't like the sound of that. What is that thing? No, no! Our city. Your soul is too weak to become one of us. These creatures are so insignificant. Ooh, this is a lot different than the first time I played. You will be consumed by the darkness. In time. Interesting. Well, let's prepare ourselves for the jump scares. Scan key card. Well, I don't have a key card. Oh. Think you can just barge in here? Come here and get your hands off me, you bastard! You better stop moving. Okay, how'd that go? <laughs> Sir, do you need him out? Oh. oh. Okay. All right. Well, okay, that happened. Level three authorization required. 
I don't know a lot about this uh, game outside of some very basic stuff. This is some sort of organic SCP. Beware the vents. Alright. Remember when I first played this, there was just like an open an entry room. But... Level zero authorization, but we still need to keep... Oh, wait, I don't... What? I have, I guess I have a key card? Alright, well, let's uh, get ourselves jump scared here. What's inside there? Well, that's fantastic. So, yeah. Nothing found on body. Ooh, what's this? Just no one. Not even me. They are all full of lies. Huh. <laughs> Feeling no pain. Oh, yeah. Inventory. Wristband ID. Okay. Well, fair enough. Let's see how... Well, I mean... I'm glad that the bathroom isn't locked, but I'm also kind of... Really need a flashlight. I wonder if I missed it at some point. No, okay. This is the opening room that I thought I found last time around. Hey there, stranger. Don't make this quick because you ain't gonna last long without those lights. The name's Doctor. I'm just not gonna last long at all. There's a flashlight. Good. I'll try the staff bathroom down the hall. Someone always forgets their access card in there. Mm, okay, well, the first one must not have been a staff access card. Okay. How does this flashlight work? I don't know. Maybe I should wait. I'm going to wait until I need to use it before I figure out how to use it. That makes sense, right? Um, I guess I'm just carrying this now. Fair enough. Alright, so we gotta... Okay. How about no? Hmm. Let's just keep playing until we die here. That seems fair. Hello. I'm just gonna not. That is not a bathroom. But, maybe we'll find something useful in here. I didn't need to leave that on as long as I did, but I did, so it's too late now. <sighs> okay, a lot of people died here, definitely. Uh, I, hear, I hear that stupid fucking baby, that's for sure. That winged baby thing. Oh, fucking hell. All right, fine. Be that way. <laughs> I said I'd play until I died. I might play this a lot more, but I just wanted to get a kind of a sense for how it plays. 
Uh, I was like, oh, okay. It's uh, There's a turret there. That, that worked out well. <laughs> Didn't die to some strange whatever. I just got shot to death. That's That sounds like a D-class to me. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the subscribe button. If you want to see more gaming like this, well, SCP games at the very least, uh, let me know. They're probably going to do something again on Tuesday. I'm just not sure which game I'm going to play. Might be more of this. You need to dive into something and just play it until I get better at it. Only lasted 7 minutes and 47 seconds on easy mode. So, yeah. But that's without, like, a whole lot of knowledge of what's going on in this game. Due to the time of this, man, personal retrain on proper access card responsibilities. Hmm. Well, fair enough. And if you really want to support the channel, head on over to patreon.com forward slash dcimmerian and pledge at any level. Like... Probably a wizard and definitely not a scientist, Lawful Evil, Vivi, and SCP-6277, who have all pledged at 40 well, I believe one of them's even pledged at $50. So, thank you very much. It's nice to know that I'm alone out here, and I'll see you all again on Tuesday.